Back in the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. I'm Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Looks like everybody on Twitch can hear us today. Yesterday we had a problem, and so as I was going over the Raw report yesterday, Twitch homies couldn't hear it, and maybe they were unable to hear what I'm about to tell you right now. I'm going to repeat it for you. Then I'm going to tell you my prediction, one of them for the Royal Rumble. So if you're not aware, WWE has announced that on Sunday, it is a return of WWE backstage. They're going to be doing a preview special for the Royal Rumble. So if you watch WWE backstage, what they are going to give you is the two wrestlers who will be kicking off the Women's Royal Rumble match as well as the first and second entrance. They're going to give those away, okay? And they're also giving away who is coming out number 30 in the men's Royal Rumble, okay? So, remember in the old days, you would be surprised. Oh, look who's number one and number two. Oh, they hit the Million Dollar Man's music. He's number one. How awesome, blah, blah, blah. Well, now they're going to tell you who number one and number two is for the women, and they're going to tell you who number 30 is for the men. So imagine if when we did our preview show on Sunday, somebody in WWE told me who number one and number two were going to be for the women and who number 30 was going to be for the men. And I told you that here on the air. People would be furious. Well, WWE is now doing it. So why would they do this? Whenever WWE does something, I foolishly think, well, why would they do this? What can I learn from this? What can I deduce? Okay. Now, normally, this is folly. Okay. Because they shoot an angle, and then, like, the next week, Vince has completely forgotten what they did, and they just do something different. Okay. So, it doesn't make any sense, but the reality is I do a daily show that's an hour long, so I got to do something. So, why would they be revealing... The number one and two women in the women's rumble and the number 30 man in the men's rumble. Well, I'll tell you what I think. I think they're telling you who the number 30 man in the rumble is because they don't have a big surprise. So, for example, if John Cena was going to return as a big surprise, well, he should be like number 30. Oh my God, who's number 30? Ah, it's John Cena! Everyone jumps up and down. Or whoever it's going to be. So they're telling you number 30 because they don't want you to get your hopes up for number 30 and then out comes truth. And then you turn on the match. Like that one year where everybody thought the number 30 was going to be Daniel Bryan, it ends up being Rey Mysterio and the fans all boo Rey Mysterio because they wanted Daniel Bryan. They want to avoid that, so they're just going to tell you who number 30 is, okay? Now the problem is, if they tell us who number 30 is, now everyone's going to think number 29 is going to be some big surprise. So, I don't think there's any point in telling us who number 30 is. But anyway, they're telling us number 30, but they're not telling us who number 30 is in the Women's Royal Rumble. You know what that tells me, Mike? What's that? That tells me they've got a surprise of some sort ah. for number 30 in the Women's Royal Rumble. Mm. All right? Now, if it were me, you know what I'd do? Well, I would have Rhea Ripley debut as number 30, and she would win. That's her main roster debut. And then she wins the title. I mean, you'd have to give the title back to Charlotte again, but I think that Rhea Ripley should win the title in WrestleMania to make up for everything they screwed up with her the whole last year. Let's get everything back on track. But what I think they're going to do, I'm not advocating this, much like I'm not advocating my idea with The Miz yesterday. I'm just trying to fix a stupid problem. What I'll bet you they do at the Royal Rumble is number 30 is going to be someone you haven't seen in a long time. No, I'm not talking about Ronda Rousey or Becky Lynch. I'm talking about Lana. She's the big surprise number 30 entrant. She gets in there. She tosses Nia over the top rope and she goes on and she wins the title at WrestleMania. Would I do this? Absolutely not. But if you look at what they've done with Lana, 
What's the storyline on Lana? Well, she keeps sneaking in the back door and winning. And she snuck in the back door and she snuck in the back door and she was a sole survivor by not even getting in the ring or whatever. But she's about to get her big championship match. And lo and behold, she gets injured. She hasn't been seen in six weeks now. So what better way to sneak her way into another big win It's part of her baby face push? They could even do the deal where all of the women are in there and they all get eliminated there and then is. they play her music and she walks to the ring and she steps in the ring and wins the Royal Rumble. There oh, what is. a big baby face win for Lana. Mm. And you continue on with this goofy storyline. Let me repeat this. Am I advocating this stupid idea? Of course not. Do I watch WWE? Yes. Do I conclude this may very well be what they're doing? Of course I do. So if you're WWE listening to this right now, prove me wrong and do something better. That's my speech. Okay. Have they have they never given away the number 30 uh, number before? Didn't guys used to compete for that to get that last spot and nobody wanted to be first? And they, they would get upset when they would draw the ball or when they would get it beforehand. They'd be upset that they know they'd have to go through and fight through all of these other people. But yeah, they, I, had, a, I, they I, had a big competitive match to win a spot. They was just given away on backstage. Well, they didn't have a show like backstage that suck and win that they want to promote, I guess. I, I don't know. I'm not as hung up on it as you because it does leave the rest of the Rumble to have a spot there to get a surprise in because I don't know how many surprises we're going to get. So if you know what your what your bookend is there, you know you're going to get Roman Reigns or whoever, you know, whoever's going to be number 30, you know, whatever the name is going to be. You know it's going to be 30. doesn't mean you can't get any surprises earlier on, right? With the Women's Royal Rumble, it's different. They only have, what, how many women have been announced for this thing so far? 12? Something like that? It gives you a lot more room well, to Mike, do some things. Well, Mike, I've got the list here if you'd like to hear it. Sure. Here are your entrants for the Men's Royal Rumble. Daniel Bryan, Bobby Lashley, AJ Styles, Randy Orton, Otis, The Miz, Jey Uso, Cesaro, Jeff Hardy, Big E, Shinsuke Nakamura, Sami Zayn, Dolph Ziggler, John Morrison, Sheamus, and Mustafa Ali. How many names is that? We're just going to waste part of our hour. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You just okay. made me count to 16 on live national radio. Didn't even have to take your shoes off. Good now job. Now for the women, we have Nia Jax, Charlotte Flair, Bianca Belair, Bailey, Mandy, Dana Brooke, Peyton, Alexa Bliss, Shayna Baszler, Ruby Riot. Liv Morgan and Tamina. One, two, so literally three, a dozen. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There you go. They need to come up with 18 more women somehow. Tamina's in this battle royal. That's well, it's... Do we know if Dana Brooke is alive and awake and in there? So you were counting but not listening to the names? Oh, look, Dana just... Brooke. And Mandy Rose are in the battle royale. Doesn't matter. I wasn't sure she had an asterisk next to her name. You know, I didn't see any news this morning, making sure she's still in there and okay and everything. But it's going to be hard to believe that we're not going to be seeing some names from the past, whether they be your Naomi's. My God, people are going to be hoping that it's Becky Lynch, surely. You know, no matter what they do with the Men's Royal Rumble, you know, there's going to be people there that are praying it's going to be Becky Lynch who come out at number 30. So thankfully, they're not in front of a crowd because I can imagine how some people would react to that if it's not Becky Lynch. But hard to believe you're not going to bring up women from NXT. Rhea Ripley's the perfect one. I like the idea of Rhea Ripley getting her win back against Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania. I just don't know if that's going to happen. Back in a moment, everybody. Wrestling Oops Observer Live. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.